Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, and I want to give you an overview of Microsoft Endpoint Manager. When you look out in the market right now, there's a lot of trends happening. Uh, but what's for certain is that many organizations are adopting cloud technology, SaaS applications. They're moving their own on-premises workloads to the cloud. And that's driving this increase in employees bringing their own device, smartphone, tablet, computer, into the workplace which then creates all this different diversity across which type of applications are running versus the type of operating system, which obviously leads to a growth in cybersecurity concern. And so with these trends brings this new concept of what we refer to as modern management. And with modern management, this at the core, we want to be able to use cloud technology, but we really want to improve the user experience. We want to give them a great user experience, no matter the device, and yet give IT the security control that they need. So if you take a step back, though, and you look at where we're coming from, you know, people are used to using a single device that's owned by the corporation or the organization. It's got all these legacy applications that has to be connected to the corporate network. There's got to be a VPN client on it. It's a very manual process to get applications and patching and everything on there. We're usually in this reactive state with it, and it's high touch. To get this thing deployed out to an end user requires a lot of manual effort. And where we want to take that is transition that into this modern workplace where we modernize IT, where users can use multiple devices. Users can bring their own device that they personally own into the environment. It's managed by the cloud and gives them applications to cloud apps. Everything is automated around the provisioning and maintaining of that device. And we're being more proactive when it comes to security and comes to policy. And most importantly, it's self-service. So if I need to go buy a new device at a retail store or order it online, when I get it in my hands, I can log into it and everything gets pushed down. Now, with that brings a lot of you know, challenges. And so when we think about our existing investments, in both security and mobility, there's a lot of challenges that we have to be able to overcome there. And part of that is not only being able to, how do we make use of our existing investments, but it's also security and then enabling these employees to be more mobile and be more active. And that's where Microsoft Endpoint Manager comes into place. It's this, it's this cloud-driven intelligence product that brings together a unified administrative console of System Center Configuration Manager and Microsoft Intune that brings you all the capabilities that we know and love like autopilot and endpoint analytics and desktop analytics into a single product and a single dashboard and main, uh, place I go to maintain. And so when you think about Microsoft Endpoint Manager, there's some key capabilities I really want you to think about. Number one for me over on the far right is deep integration across Microsoft 365, which then allows me to tie into things like Intune and Azure Active Directory and all of the other different products. But it brings together unified management, which enables me to do zero touch provisioning with something like Autopilot, but then get all the security controls that I, I need to be able to make sure that these devices are properly secured. And so if you just peel back the narrow onion on this, here's what some of those capabilities look like. Whether it's things like enabling Windows Hello and device attestation and getting a readout on your secure score across these devices, to using autopilot, to do zero touch of these devices, or even through Android Enterprise or Apple's device enrollment program, all the way down to being able to make sure that everything is managed from a centralized console. And one of my favorites here is conditional access and doing device-based risk control for uh, conditional access, which we can get into in another video. And so with Endpoint Manager here, it's really bringing you know, everything together and it's having this unified experience. And when we think about security, it's bringing together Defender ATP, Microsoft Defender ATP into the IT operations world and being able to manage that at scale and being able to do things like security tasks and making sure that those devices compliance posture is brought up to speed and configuration is properly done across those devices. And then when I think about risk-based controls, I mentioned this before around conditional access. So as the device adapts to the different environments it may be in, and if there's ransomware or there's threats on that machine, we can actually use conditional access to shut down that machine's access to outside resources, corporate resources, when there's a threat on it. 
And then as far as managing all of this, it's all done from a centralized console, endpoint.microsoft.com, and that allows me to manage all my mobile devices, my Windows 10 inventory of machines, and uh, being able to do that across whether it's Configuration Manager or Intune or a combination of both from this single console. Now, one of my favorite things about this is the zero-touch provisioning. And so whether it's an Apple device, an Android device, a Samsung Knox device, or even a Windows device, we can make it so that it's zero touch. I turn it on and everything is ready to go. Applications are installed, they get pushed down, security policy, et cetera, et cetera. This can really lower my costs and make it really easy and, and streamlined to be able to get these into the hands of an employee. And then from a, an analytics perspective, being able to go through and see how are these devices configured and making sure that they're configured in a way that optimizes performance and from there, being able to go through and seeing how am I trending on that and pulling all that data and all that reports out of the system can really give me some good insights into how my devices are running in terms of health and in terms also of recommendations on how I can make them uh, more optimized and improve them. And here you can see some examples from these screenshots. Now, what else I find interesting here is being able to use Configuration Manager, System Center Configuration Manager, or ConfigMan, in addition to Intune from a single console. So for a lot of organizations, if you're already using SCCM to manage your, your Windows and servers, I can still do that, but yet also take advantage of the cloud capabilities that Intune has through Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And so there's some other videos out there that uh, you can certainly go out and watch, and I'll do additional videos on this, but hopefully this gives you uh, just a brief overview of what Microsoft Endpoint Manager is all about. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.